Human behavior can be a mystery. Why do people and organizations behave in certain ways? Or make funny decisions that are hard to understand? Behavioral economics or insights are helping public bodies across the world to answer these questions and deliver better policies for better lives. Behavioral insights is not a trend. It's being rooted in public bodies all around the world. The OECD has already collected over 150 case studies. Public institutions have used behavioral insights in these sectors and more. It has been widely used to help in the implementation of policies and rules. Those using behavioral insight should adopt a set of standards to maintain the integrity, relevance and impact of behavioral approaches. The OECD has provided guidance on this. 1. Be strategic and systematic. 2. Start with good, reliable data. 3. Validate through replication. 4. Apply to segments of society for special or targeted interventions. 5. Evaluate. 6. Publish results, good and bad. Behavioural approaches should move beyond looking at the individual and focus on organisational behaviour in industry, regulated firms and public institutions. To find out more about the behavioural work at the OECD, go to our webpage and learn how behavioural insights are giving a nudge to better policies and better lives. It's great to see this new OECD report huh, on behavioural insights applied to policy and practice. In the behavioural insight team, boy, I think we've come a long way in the last six to seven years, and it's great to see other countries and BSC learn from what they've been doing. We ourselves are running, I think, more than 300 randomised control trials at this point, as well as advising in many areas of policy, and definitely we're moving from nuts and bolts, simple applications into much more difficult and so-called wicked problems. Improving consumer outcomes is a key priority here at ASIC. How we understand problems and how we choose the right interventions has benefited significantly from the insights from a range of behavioural and social sciences. Equally important have been the lessons on how we, as practitioners and policy makers, make decisions ourselves. Sharing these lessons, what works and what doesn't, is important for us all. This includes sharing research findings, but it also includes sharing the process of how we apply evidence-based approaches. ASIC is excited to join the leaders in this field in promoting a strong culture of research and testing. As a behavioural science nonprofit, we're delighted to have lent our support to this work. It's a rich source of information for everyone interested in using behavioural insights to strengthen communities and to improve people's lives. The opportunity ahead is limitless. We think the pace of change will only increase as policymakers and practitioners find common ground both around improving existing programs and ensuring that new initiatives are built with behavioral science in their DNA. Policy. At UN Environment, we believe that in the Anthropocene era, changing human behaviors is key to ensure more sustainable consumption and sustainable development for all. Today, we also would like to tell you that on March 8th, we're gonna host our first webinar under the Green Growth Knowledge Platform, where we have a research committee that includes the OECD and others and focuses on behavioral insights for green growth. We've also developed a new publication that will be launched at this webinar that focuses on behavioral insights for sustainable consumption. We hope that today at the launch and through your own endeavors, you can become champions for behavioral insights and public governance. Great, well done OECD and from what other countries are doing too. We congratulate the OECD on the release of their report. Thank you and have a great launch today.